Hello, everyone in the United States of America, Canada, and the rest of the world. Sheila and I here with you today, wishing you a happy Sabbath, and so glad you can join us for this report. Good morning, Sheila. Morning, Ganem. Good to have you here today. Uh, Marlon is still on medical leave, so we do ask you to please remember him in your prayers. By the time you watch this segment, he would have had a surgery. So lots of prayers needed for his recovery Amen. and safe return to this ministry and to his family. That's right. Sheila, what we have for scripture today? Our scripture is from John 16, 33. I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. I really mm. love this text because if you're just watching the news, you can't escape it. You can't escape the worries and maybe in your own home, you have worries and concerns and challenges in life. But God already told us that in this life, in this world, we are going to have many trials and many, many problems and worries. But when we give it to Christ, we just have to know that we're not living for this world. We're living for the eternal life, the eternal kingdom with Jesus. And we want to bring that to this present. And his peace will pass all understanding. Well said, Sheila. Well said. And, and these trials, it only makes us stronger. Mm -hmm. uh, if we believe and trust that God is with us, we will make it through those trials. Mm -hmm. And at uh, the end of the day, as we all look back in retrospect, the trials we went into our life, it only made us stronger. Maybe the time was soul shaking, but as time goes on, we become better and stronger people. And, that's, and this is our opportunity to grow strong in faith and character yes. uh, uh, as we plan to enter God's kingdom. With, uh, with, with the right spirit and the right faith and the right belief. Right. We can't escape it. We can go through it with Jesus. Amen. Who makes us, who helps us through it. Amen. Amen. Well, Sheila, uh, every week we have donors helping LLBN. All throughout the week. That's helping right. us meet our bills. Mm -hmm. But during the Sabbath life hours particularly, we like to mention those names who happen to rotate during these time slots. And in other words, every donor will have that opportunity to be announced on a Sabbath, but they will all, all donors throughout the week, you'll see their names on the bottom of the screen. But for this live segment, who do we have today? Well, we'd love to thank the Salinas family from Ohio, the James family from Georgia, the Hagensicker family from South Carolina, and the Young family from Virginia. Thank you so much for your generosity. We can't do it without you, and we can't do it with all the viewers who contribute in, in whatever way they can, prayers, um, your support, your dollars, everything is all to build the kingdom of God. Amen. It is to honor him. It is mm -hmm. for his glory. As you know, if, um, unless you're joining us for the first time, Sheila and myself and 99 some percent, well, 98 percent of our workforce were all contributors, uh, uh, volunteers into this ministry. And many of us also contributors, pray, involved in prayer partners for this ministry, for our donors, but also we are contributors financially also to this ministry. So your support is not to pay our salaries, although you probably would be kind and generous even if that was the case. But, but the good news is you don't. Your dollars goes into outreach. And what, a, what an opportunity for all of us, you and us, to serve the work of God into the world, Sheila. Mm -hmm. uh, in this age where the news, no matter which TV channel you turn into, it's all bad news, agitating news, news not of hope. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are sharing the hope of Jesus into the world. What a privilege. It is. And that's why I love um, volunteering here at LBN, because it reminds me that it's not about the money, it's about bringing the kingdom of God, which is worth more than, it sounds generic, but it's worth more than gold. Well, you no, know, it is. I mean, it is. Uh, and I know for those of you who are contributing to the ministry, you, you obviously believe what we believe, mm -hmm. or you wouldn't have gone out of your way supporting a ministry that you're not personally engaged with. But this is the beauty. We're all becoming partner through Christ in one common goal to do his work in this time of age. Uh, uh, and I don't know about you and you folks, but I think we're all ready for Christ's return. 
And we just might be surprised one day how close we are or closer to the return of his kingdom. And uh, we're just eager to make a difference in our kids' lives, our neighbors, our relatives, our co-workers, and those around the world by sharing the word of God. Amen. I mean, if you just read the Bible, the disciples gave their lives to share the good news. And when you, when you have just like even a glimpse of the love of God and, and what he did for us, you just want to tell everybody about it. Oh, man. So, so again, for those of you who may be watching us for the first time, LLBN is viewer supported. That means our money doesn't come from any local church, conference, or general conference. All our expenses paid by faithful viewers like you who are generous to write a check or through a credit card, give a donation to LLBN. So please remember us, not only in that, but also into your trust. Uh, Chile, do you remember some of the ways people can keep us in their trust? Yes, you know, um, it's never too early and never too late to to think about what you would like to do with, you know, your gifts, um, your wills. You know, um, I know for me, sometimes it's important to have a will. You know, you never know, um, like unexpected things happen and you would want to know where you'd want to direct it. And we would love to be part of your will if, you know, um, when, when we go on or we pass or something, to know where your dollars are going. That's right. And all your gifts, folks, all your gifts, all givers, from first day in the history of LLBN to current place, we are now displaying on our video wall. It's a video wall that keeps scrolling names, like a movie credit, but the names rotate, keeps rolling and repeating itself throughout the week as visitors and workers and volunteers come through this building. These video walls are a testimony to those of you who believe in supporting God's work, but I strongly believe all of us who contribute to God's work, we will also have our names in the books of heaven. Yeah. And I, I look forward to that. Amen. Sheila, moving on, uh, Roku. Let me tell you about Roku, folks. Uh, you, know, you know you can watch LLBN on multiple platforms. Actually, and essentially, we are in every consumer platform. Uh, Xbox, kids who use for games, they can get our channels. Uh, uh, Roku, Apple TV, phone apps, uh, multiple ways you can get LLBN. LG TVs, anytime you buy an LG TV worldwide, you get LLBN bouquet of channels on it. Uh, but Roku, for a long time, uh, you had to look for Bright Star in order to get LLBN. Well, thank God, that's the past. Now, all you have to do, go to Roku store and the app and just type in LLBN and we are available on, 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 in that store so you can put us in your favorite. If you have the old app, I suggest delete, search, and restore us back again because the new app is going to be able to support many, many other new futures that we're going to launch in the future. So it's good to be current with us. This is probably the last change we will make with Roku. Uh, tell a friend or anyone you know who, uh, uh, who gets LLBN, encourage them to delete the old app and type in LLBN and start with a new app, which would have a lot more features uh, that you can benefit with as time go on. Well... Our next topic, we're going to talk about volunteers like you and me and and many of our volunteers here, folks. If you live locally, wow, what a blessing. You can help us with so many things. I mean, right now, our people, we clean clean glass, office glass. Uh, We organize and vacuum the place ourselves. Uh, We stuff envelopes and letters to our viewers and our donors. And there is technical operation we train for. And their people have computer skills who comes in and go on the web and just browse and collect certain data for us. Others get involved in scheduling programs. Everyone we have here as a volunteer being trained That's to right. do something. In our training, it's almost like uh, one or two sessions. Mm-hmm. So it's really easy. We oversimplified it. So I strongly encourage you, if you live local, come join us. Become part of this family. Uh, honor God through your skill and your availability. Some donate their time, what, one hour a week and others several days a week. So it's almost like your financial given. It could be a dollar mm-hmm. or it could be thousands of dollars. It could be Amen. an hour volunteering or 
many hours of volunteering. So, and there is no contract. You're not, yeah. you're not obligated to continue on. So please come and join us. Our office is right here in Loma Linda. Uh, uh, you go to our website and look up the address. That's right. I don't remember how we got you, but I'm glad we got you, Sheila, involved to help no, us through okay, this ministry. It's, it's been a blessing in, in my life and my family's life. In fact, I'm um, talking about volunteer. Even if you don't live here, my daughter, who goes to college somewhere else in a different state, she said that she has a prayer group, you know, a, a prayer group that deliberately prays mm. for us. And I, I think that was just music to my ears. And Praise so God. just getting a group together just to deliberately pray for this there's so much power in prayer. Amen. Amen. So in the interest of time, I'm going to move on along and cut some of my agenda items here short. Uh, the last airing of Christian Connections, uh, tell our viewers quickly who was we had for a pastor. Oh, we had Pastor John Harper. It was Jeff such, Harper. I mean, Jeff Harper. Excuse me, Jeff. <laughs> but it was very powerful. He talked about the power of prayer. Yes. And how important it is and how we can ask God to help us um, have that time with him. We also had wonderful music by the Thomas brothers, the sweet little, sweet, precious guys um, who were virtuosos in, in violin. You won't want to miss it if you missed it. That's right. It, it's really powerful. It just, Christian Connections, just, it's just every week has very effective speakers. And, and, and we premiere a new one every Tuesday evening, 6 p.m. Pacific time. So make sure to join us also Tuesday if you yes. can. Um, if you want to get our newsletters and you want to get uh, uh, more current information, uh, go on our website also and fill out the forum to give us your email address. We don't send emails every day. We don't send emails every week. Uh, so we're very light on our emails. But if you want to get into our distribution, distribution list, you probably just get some updates of specials from time to time and uh, newsletters. Uh, no more all together than just like half a dozen times a year. Yes. So and there is no solicitations either, I, that I guarantee you. So I'd uh, love to have you join our, our, our virtual family uh, who, who are communicating through emails with us. Amen. Um, and then uh, Smart Lifestyle TV, our health education channel, something we invested our lives into, and mo most of you don't know much about it, but here at LLBN, we strongly support health education and we have a channel that goes worldwide uh, uh, teaching folks how to live better and according to God's uh, teaching. Amen. So uh, we're excited because we have a whole new group of physicians who just partnered with us to become part of that channel uh, platform. Amen. Sheila, what we have four letters. Do you have, we have time to read one or two maybe? Sure, enough. I'd love to read them. Rudy from the state of Washington writes, thank you for all you are accomplishing. May God bless everyone at LLBN. And Dee from Ohio says, I enjoy your network very much, especially the Friday night worship Sabbath day programs. You make so many people happy by reinforcing God's word. Well, God bless you. And we thank you so much for your letters. I'd love to pray for Rudy and Dee. Let's do it. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for our viewers like Rudy and Dee who, who benefit from the programming and who pray for our programs. We, we ask you to be with them and all the viewers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And then uh, we ask you again to continue to support this precious ministry that belongs to our Father in Heaven. And uh, put your names on our donor wall, but also hopefully in the books of God in heaven. I know for sure they are in there. Because you will be changing someone's life forever and you may meet them, meet them in God's kingdom. God bless you. We'll see you next week here on Weekend Review. Happy Sabbath.